Somebody to give us an opening prayer? By show of hands, then we begin because we are already late. Yes, please. Lexi. Lexi, give us the opening prayer. We begin. Yes, Virunji. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for this chance. We humbly pray that you send us your Holy Spirit, your Holy Wisdom, and help us understand all the content you are going to teach. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. The name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you for uh, very much for that wonderful prayer. Uh, I welcome you to this lesson, an e-learning project, uh, which is uh, organized by Edify and funded by Edify. Uh, it is also organized by uh, Christian Schools Owners Association and also implemented by ICT Teachers Association. Uh, today, we are in for CRE, Senior Theory, with me, Mukwaya Joseph, and our lesson for today, we are going to look at sex differences and the person. That is our lesson for today, sex differences and the person. That is our lesson for today. Uh, but if you need to contact me outside this lesson, you can reach me out to my contacts and even my email, which is right there. So our lesson objectives for today, we are going to define sex and then we shall see the sex difference in the present situation the sex difference in the present situation. And under that, we shall look at equality. We shall look at equality between men and women. We're going to look at equality between men and uh, women. Okay. Yes, Maria. Do you have any, any, any question? Maria? Any question? If you don't have, let us continue. So, like I was saying today, we are looking at sex differences and the person. Remember, when God was creating human beings, he created us male and female, male and female. And uh, we are all created in God's image. Mm -hmm. That is according to God's plan. We are created in God's image, mm -hmm. male and female. However, we have differences. Mm -hmm. We have differences. And under this topic, uh, today we are looking at uh, the understanding of sex differences in the present uh, situation. We shall look at sex differences in the African tradition society. Mm -hmm. And even what does the New Testament teaching talks about sex differences and even the Old Testament teaching. So like I was saying, when God was creating human beings, he created them male and female. So which means that there is a difference between a man and a woman. There is a difference between a man and a woman. Because when we go to Genesis, when we go to Genesis uh, chapter 2, hmm? when we go to Genesis chapter 2, hmm? uh, verse, verse 18, we are seeing that the Lord God said, it is not good for man to live alone. I'll make a suitable companion to help him. 
So he took some soil from the ground and formed all animals and all birds, then brought them to man um, to see what he would name them. And that is how uh, all the names of the animals and even the birds, mm, uh, they were, uh, that's how they got the names. Mm. So, but we are seeing that all these animals and birds that God created, mm, none of them was a suitable, a suitable companion to help man, mm, to help man, which means that there was something which was missing. Mm. And when we go to Genesis, still Genesis chapter 2, verse 21, we are seeing that the Lord made man to fall into a deep sleep. And while he was sleeping, he took one of man's ribs and closed up the flesh. He formed a woman. Hmm? He formed a what? A woman out of the man's rib and brought her to him mm? and brought her to him. That is Genesis chapter 2. Mm? Genesis chapter 2, verse 21. God is making man to fall into a deep sleep. He removes one of his ribs and creates a woman. Mm? After God brought the woman mm? to the man, mm? we are seeing that when you go to Genesis, still chapter 2, verse 23. Mm? When man saw the woman, mm? Adam, mm? when he saw the woman, he was very happy. He said, at last, here is one of my kind. Very happy, at last. Mm? As you can see that man on the screen, very happy. Mm? You can see the happiness he's having when he's near the lady. Even Adam was very happy. At last, here is one of my kind, born, taken from my bone and flesh from my flesh. Woman is her name. Why? Because she was taken out of man. Now, we are beginning our lesson. Hmm? The question is, when we talk about that word sex, I know some of your, mind are, uh, your minds are polluted. Hmm? You might think otherwise, but that word, it has so many meanings. Hmm? It has so many meanings. Hmm? It has so many meanings. Hmm? We are saying that the word sex can be defined in, in two ways, which can be either gender or as a ritual or a practice. Hmm? Sex can be a gender because when you talk about sex, we are talking about male and female. Hmm? If somebody asks you, what is your sex? Hmm? Your sex, you are either male or you are female. That is your sex. However, sex can also be defined as a practice or a ritual. So if we are defining sex, we are defining it as gender. When you talk of gender, we are talking about man and woman. Mm? Man and woman. For instance, uh, my name is Joseph Mukwaya, mm? and my sex is male. Mm? My sex is male. So today, we want to understand this topic. We want to understand this topic, sex, okay? And you should put it in your minds that when we are defining sex, it can be either defined as a gender or as a ritual practice. Now, we need to see, for instance, when we are talking about sex as a gender, hmm? when you are talking about sex as a gender, what do we mean? We are saying that as gender, sex refers to being male or female. Sex refers to being male or female. When I was beginning, I was saying that when somebody asks you, what is sex? Some of your minds are polluted. You say, hey, hey, 
You look at this one. Mm -hmm. Why are you asking me that? But when we talk about sex, we are saying that it refers to being male and what? And female. It refers to being male and female. In other words, this means hmm, the masculine, masculinity hmm, and femininity hmm, of any organism. What do we mean by that? Male, male, male uh, creatures are masculine. Hmm? Look at your brother. Hmm? Look at your dad. Hmm? When you look at his hand, hmm? he's masculine. Hmm? He's masculine. Male sex are masculine. Hmm? And when you find a female sex which is masculine, that means that. Hmm? You are becoming abnormal because that masculinity it is on the side of male. Masculinity is found on the side of male. Hmm? Whereas a uh, uh, femininity hmm? it goes to to the ladies, hmm? the female femininity. Hmm? Femininity it goes to the ladies. Hmm? Okay, and what do we mean by femininity? Can somebody tell us hmm, by show of hands what is the meaning of that word femininity? Hmm? Masculinity, I've tried to explain to you. What about femininity? Hmm? Remember, we are looking at or we are defining sex as gender, and we're seeing that when we are defining sex as gender, it refers to being male or female. In other words, this means the masculinity and femininity of an organism. So what do we mean by femininity? By show of hands. What do we mean by femininity? Yes, Daniela. Femininity means having qualities associated with women. Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Thank you very much. Hey, just like she has said, femininity refers to the qualities regarded as characteristics of women. Hmm? Characteristics of women. Hey, there are people, you find men, hmm? we are talking like as if we are ladies. Hmm? You are becoming hmm? Hmm? femininity. Hmm? You are talking like ladies. Why are you talking like ladies? Men are supposed to have deep voices. Hmm? Deep voices, very deep. Masicula. Hmm? Okay? Masicula. Hmm? So, the distinction in the human characteristics uh, takes into consideration whether the individual is man or woman. Now, that is the definition of sex in line in line of gender however 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 we can also define sex as intercourse between male or female reproductive organs mm? yes i think that is what you understand most eh hey, that is what you understand most mm? Hey, biology teachers they normally tell us that when they read to a certain topic of the productive system, hmm, students are always active. So here, this is the intercourse between male or female reproductive organs. And this definition looks at the physical interaction of male and female uh, sexual organs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, now. I want us to look at sex differences in the present situation. Sex differences in the present situation. And when we talk about sex difference in the present situation, emphasis is being put on the equal treatment of each other and everyone. Today, today, there must be equal treatment. That business of treating ladies, hmm? 
that business of treating ladies that for you, you're supposed to be in the kitchen. No, today, ladies are not supposed to be in the kitchen. Mm? They're not supposed to be in the kitchen. We are all equal, okay? We are all what? Equal. So there are areas and practices to show that all people are being treated as equal, okay? All people are being treated as equal. And here, when we talk about being equal, hmm, being equal, hmm, we want to look at the equality between men and women today. Hmm? And here, I will open the discussion. Hmm? How, how can you show us that today we have equality? Hmm? Hmm? Equality between men and women. Hmm? Describe the equality between men and women today. Yes, Anthony. Women have been allowed to participate in politics. Can you give us examples? Remember, remember, I was telling you that questions of describe, questions of why, questions of explain, you must give examples. If you don't give an example, you don't get marks. So if you're telling us that women are being treated equal, uh, being uh, allowed to participate in politics, give us examples of those ladies who have participated in politics here in Uganda. Yes, Anthony. Nab Nabanja. Uh -huh. Who is Nabanja? We have so many Nabanjas. Even my sister is Nabanja. Which Nabanja? Yes, Anthony? Hey, are you seeing how you fail questions? You simply say Nabanja. Hmm? Who is Nabanja? You say the Prime Minister of Uganda. Hmm? Honorable hmm? Rubina Nabanja. Prime Minister, if you simply say Nabanja. We have so many Nabanjas. Hmm? There are so many. Yes, Ahumuza. Yes, Ahumuza. Um, women have, have taken over high posts high posts of office in the government. Let me say that the current vice president, Alupo Jessica. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ahumuza. Women are now taking big positions hmm? in the government. Hmm? Jen, uh, Jessica Alupo, hmm? uh, the, the, the vice president. Any other, any other? Let me see. Yes, Lexi. 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 Yes, uh, Mulungi. Yeah. Both men and women are heading families, thus providing the needs of their families, such as education, food, among others. Yes, thank you very much. Both men and women today are heading families. Hmm? Today, we have ladies who are heading families. Hmm? Your parents, uh, uh, when it comes to parenting, hmm? Nowadays, even our mothers, they pay for our school fees, hmm? which wasn't the case those days. So today we have that equality. Hmm? We have that equality. Hmm? We have that equality. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Karen. Hmm? Karen. Um, yes, teacher. Hmm. Um, these days women are allowed to work unlike in the past when they were just told to stay at home and take care of the home and do the domestic chores hey, hey, yes that is very right today women they go and work remember those days a woman was supposed to be in the kitchen hmm? kitchen is was the office for a woman hmm? yes that is true Peter Give us your view, Peter. Yes. Uh, can you hear me, sir? Very well. Okay, yes. Uh, today, 
religiously big positions in church are being taken by both men and women. For example, in the Anglican church, today women mm. are also allowed to be reverends. Very good. Hey, we have reverends in the Anglican church who are ladies. Hmm? What are you talking about? Hmm? We have equality today. Hmm? Any other person? Hmm? Any other person who has not given me any answer? Hmm? Please don't overkeep quiet. Otherwise, your neighbors who are around with you will not enjoy the atmosphere because of overkeeping quiet. Yes, Veronica. Veronica. There is promotion instruction of school in Bingo on St. Mary's College in Magong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, let me also give you my my submission, both men and women are heading families. Somebody gave us that. Mm -hmm. Both men and women are heading families. Mm -hmm. Both men and women are heading families. Yes, Davis, you have something to tell us? Davis Mulunji? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. The women are allowed to eat any kind of food and live. In the past, where they are not allowed to eat some foods like chicken and grasshoppers. Hey, that is true. Thank you. That is true. Today, ladies, they eat all food types. Hmm? Those days, I'm telling you, a woman was not supposed to eat chicken. A woman was not supposed to eat eggs. How could you eat eggs, a woman? An abomination. How? Hmm? How? Mm -hmm. It was an abomination. How could you eat it? Mm -hmm. How could you eat chicken? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So like I've said, both men and women are heading families today. Mm -hmm. Both are heading families today. There is active participation of both men and women in political affairs of the country. Yes, everybody has the right to vote or to be voted as long as uh, he or she is above 18 years. Mm -hmm. He, the former spe uh, speaker of parliament, mm -hmm. you know, you remember that lady, mm -hmm. Rebecca Aritwara Kadaga. Mm -hmm. So today, ladies are, are actively participating in politics. Hmm? So we are also seeing that uh, we are also seeing that today men and women are sharing the same jobs. Hmm? Men and women are sharing the same jobs at your schools. You have female teachers. You have male teachers. Hmm? Hey, you have male teachers. You have female teachers hmm? at your school. You have uh, you have uh, compound cleaners who are either male or female. Mm? That is equality between men and women. That is equality. Mm? There is equality of everyone before the law. Everyone is protected by the law according to the Uganda Constitution of 1995. Mm? E. Our constitution does not say that. A woman A B C D or a man no no. There is equality of everyone before the law in our constitution. Hmm? In our constitution. Okay. In our constitution. Yes. So we're seeing that women and men are taking pass up uh, active participation in the economic sector, like paying taxes and even establishing businesses. Hmm? Yes. Today we have ladies, you go to Kampala. Hmm? You will find both men and women busy, working, looking for money. Mm? But those days, uh, it was only the task of a man to go and work and look for food. Mm? Women were supposed to act as housewives. But nowadays, we have equality of men and women. 
whereby uh, these two uh, uh, genders, mm, they actively participate in the economic sector. Mm, they actively participate in the economic sector. Mm. When it comes to domestic duties, I know sometimes your dad can even cook food, isn't it? Mm. Your dad cooks food, your dad cleans around. Mm. So domestic duties such as cooking food, cleaning the house are shared. Mm. For instance, if I see that my wife is busy cleaning the utensils and I see that uh, my daughter has, uh, mm, has disorganized the house, I'll organize it. We share domestic duties nowadays. Mm. We share. Mm. Though some people, when they find your man, you are busy cleaning the utensils. Hey, you man, what are you talking about? Huh? Why are you cleaning the utensils? Mm? It seems that at night they even cane you. Mm? But we have equality today. Okay. Yes, Martha, you have a, a point to tell us? You have a point to put across? Martha? Yeah. Okay, okay, that was Martha. Women nowadays have the right to demand for divorce. Eh, that is right. Mm? Eh. Today women can demand for divorce. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Mm? But in those days I'm telling you, <laughs> it was only the man to tell a woman, now I'm tired of you, can you go away? Mm? Can you go away? And the woman was not supposed to say, I'm going, where are you going? Hmm? I paid you, I, I paid you in your parents, where are you going? But nowadays, women have the right to demand for divorce in the event of domestic violence. If there is domestic violence, women have the right, hmm? they have all the right to demand for divorce. Hmm? Somebody cannot wait to die in a, in a relationship, they kill you. Mm? So you can demand for divorce. Mm? You can demand for divorce, okay? Aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. We are also seeing that the family property like houses belongs to every member. E the family property belongs to every member. Eh? Eh? Children, be, be it sons or daughters have equal rights to that family property. So at home, where you are right now, whether you're a boy or a girl, you have equal rights to the property of your parents. Equal, equal. There is no business of saying that for me, I'm a boy, I, I'm having a bigger share. Who told you? Who told you? You have equal rights. Mm? You have equal rights to the family property. Mm? Sons and daughters, they have equal rights to the family property of their parents. There is equal access to education. Mm? E. There is equal access to education. Mm? I'm telling you, those days, mm? I'm telling you, those days, uh, those days, uh, <clears throat> ladies or oh, the girls were not being allowed to go to school. Mm? Girls were not being allowed to go to school. Mm? And uh, parents could only educate a boy child. But nowadays, there is equal access to education. Mm? There is equal access to education. And uh, when you land on such questions, they will always ask you, describe uh, equality between men and women in Uganda today. Mm? Whenever you hear words, describe, explain, why, how. Mm? You must give examples. You must give examples because CRE, mm, it deals with the things that we deal with today. That's why it is called Christian living today, CRE. Hmm? Christian living today. Hmm? You must be updated with the examples. Hmm? Some of you 
when you get to TV, when you get to your televisions, you only want to watch music, you only want to watch soaps, you only want to watch movies, you must watch news such that you are updated. These are the examples that you are going to apply. Hmm? Okay. We go on, we go on. Are we are seeing that both male and female are entitled to the government protection during the times of stability and instability. Hey, remember what happened in Afghanistan? Who can tell us what happened in Afghanistan? Hmm? By show of hands. Hmm? In relation to that point, hmm? in relation to that point, we are seeing that both male and female are entitled to government protection during the times of stability and instability. Hmm? Remember, there was instability hmm, in Afghanistan hmm, when the United Nations, uh, when uh, the uh, USA hmm, withdrew from Afghanistan, hmm, the Taliban group took over the government. Hmm, and for them, they have, they have uh, they are the so-called Sharia law, hmm, which uh, which suffocates a woman, hmm? which suffocates a woman. But we are seeing that uh, these ladies, they have to run away. Hmm? They have to run away hmm? such that they seek for, they seek for refugee in countries where they can be safe. Hmm? And, uh, and uh, the US government had to come in to help them, those ones who needed to, to seek for refugee. And we received some here. Hmm? Not only ladies, but even uh, and even the the male gender. Mm -hmm. So here we are seeing that both male and female they are entitled to government protection. They are entitled to government protection. Children in a family belong to both husband and woman. Hey, you know these Africans in their setting. Mm, they see that he, that is saying that. He, um, a, a child belongs to hmm, belongs to a man hmm? belongs to a man hmm? hey that's why uh even children take the name of uh, of the father hmm? the clan of the father but we're seeing that children in a family belong to both the husband and the wife there is nobody who owns the child or the children individually. So today women play active roles in church as leaders. Somebody gave us that. Uh, for instance, in the Anglican church, women are ordained as reverence. Uh, that word ordained, it means uh, giving somebody a title. Mm? Mm? Giving somebody a title in a church. Mm? You're ordained. Hey, you are ordained not graduating. Hmm? Like somebody was telling us in a certain lesson hmm? that priests, they graduate. If they don't graduate, they are ordained. Hmm? So we are saying that both women and men are protected by the government from anything that puts their lives in danger. Emphasis is put on monogamy today. Hmm? Today, Hmm? Somebody is asking, somebody is asking the meaning of uh, stability and instability. Hmm? Stability and instability. Hmm? When we talk about stability, stability comes from the word stable. Hmm? When you are stable, that means that. They, you, have, you don't have anything which is disturbing you. There's nothing disturbing you. Mm? So stability is the opposite of instability. Mm? So which means that stability, you have nothing disturbing you. You are okay. Mm? You are okay. But instability, that means that mm? you are not okay. Mm? There are things which are disturbing you. You are, you are not stable. Mm? Instability. Hope Murungi, I've tried to, to, to explain. So we have seen that emphasis is put on monogamy as ideal type of marriage. Yes, today, hmm? today, the church that does not encourage 
Hmm? You come with a group of ladies, you go to the church and go to marry these ladies. No way. Hmm? The church emphasizes monogamy. Hmm? It emphasizes monogamy. Marrying only one wife. Now, now, after looking at equality, hmm, I want us to look at the inequality between male and females today. Ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me some of the inequalities that we have today? Yes, Alexi. Alexi, the microphone is yours. Please, sir. Mm. Examples of inequalities. Inequality. Um, domestic violence. Women are still beat up by men in their homes. Mm. Domestic violence. Still many think that they are the kings of the jungle. Eh? They think that they are the kings of the jungle. Hmm? whereby they think that they are free to slap, to kick, to box. Eh? <laughs> Any other contribution? We are looking at the inequality between male and female sexes today. Yes, Maria. Maria? Yes. Women mm. are still blamed for the indiscipline of children in many homes, whereas men are left free. Hey, hey, that is true. When, a, when a, a, a child does something bad, the father will say, Chirabo mm. Silwa Mama Wo. Silwa Mama Wo. So many think that indiscipline it is. It is accountable to the wife or to the woman. Hmm? Okay, that is what they think. Any other contribution, Alexi? Hmm? Um, in most cases, men okay, men are allowed to marry as many wives as they wish to, but women are still okay. They are, they are not. They, they are entitled to one. Okay. Hey. <laughs> that is true. In most cases, men, hmm, for them, they think that they are free to have as many hmm, as many wives as they can. Hmm? But when a man gets to know, hmm, even if he's having 10 wives, when he gets to know that one of the wives that he's having is having another man, you see him. Hmm? He will develop goosey pimples. Eh? Hmm? He will sweat in the vernacular. Hmm? So, you, you, we are seeing inequality. Hmm? Yes, Paul. Paul. Yes, teacher. Hmm. Women are still women are still denied inheritance even at the death of their parents, and most of the inheritance, like land, vehicles, are given to boys and not given to girls. Hey. Thank you very much, Paul. That is very right. Nowadays. Mm -hmm. We are seeing that women are not being allowed to inherit, mm -hmm. to inherit their parents. Mm -hmm. They are not, they are not being allowed. The culture is still mm, squeezing, our culture is still squeezing the girl child, or oh, it is still squeezing the female sex. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to inherit. Can you imagine? Yes, Malik. Hmm? Lack of representation. Lack of what? Come again. Lack of political representation. Hey, what happened? Yeah. Draw more light about your point. I would say. Yeah. Lack of political representation. Mm -hmm. What happened to political representation? We have ladies in politics. Mm -hmm. We have ladies in politics. Yes, Mati Matha. Mati Matha. Your yes. hand is up. Uh -huh. Women are not 
like women are not given freedom to movement like hey. they stay like in one place they... hey your mother is not allowed to move hmm <laughs> yeah hey that is true that is true hey we are seeing that there are some men eh hey? there are some men hmm? how man will tell him hmm? you know hmm? baby and i want to go to 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 my to my friend and visit them don't you go where are you going hmm? you're supposed to be here eh you're not supposed to leave this place hmm? yes musinguzi girls today are still victims of forced early marriage eh that is true eh that is true most especially muslims i'm sorry but uh, it is so common eh? mm? in the villages there mm? hey, young girls are being forced mm? they are being forced to go into our marriages which is bad mm? which is bad yet yes peter 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 yes, uh, so religiously mm. smaller costs in contradiction to my first point this time it's with the unlike the anglicans for whom it's for both women and men mm. eh hey. hey, when it comes to some uh, religious uh, uh for instance you come to the catholics hmm? you can never be a priest when you are a lady never okay <laughs> you can never be a priest when you are a lady because uh, the catholic religion and its practices Mm, does not allow that. Namoli, Mary. <clears throat> okay, let me give my submission very fast. Mm, let me give my submission very fast. Time, time is about to squeeze us in the corner. Mm, we are seeing that uh, roles in some families are still assigned according to sex. For example, cooking food. Hey, even today, many think that it is a woman who is supposed to cook food, period. Hmm? They think, some women still feel that men are the sort of provider. Hey, hey, hey. That is true. Hmm? These are the queens, these are the slayers who have long nails. You know them. Hmm? Hey, you know, I need, I need money for my nails. I need money for my whatever. When, hey, everything, they think that is, it is a man to support, hmm? which is not right. Hmm? Polygamy still exists in some families. Hmm? That is true. Men, when they get money, hi, 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 hi. when they get money, hmm? Money will make them feel that they are the kings of the jungle. They will start marrying one woman after the other, hmm? which is not good. Hmm? The beating of women today. There are some men. Eh? Hmm? There are some men who are good at beating. Hmm? They are good at beating. Hmm? I don't know what, what is wrong with their hands, but every time they want to beat up ladies. Hmm? which is not good and uh, that is one of the inequalities between male and uh, females and uh, we also think that uh, inheritance of widows it is still practiced in some communities eh? can you imagine inheritance of widows some regions are still practicing that thing if your husband dies the brother will inherit you eh? the brother will inherit you can you imagine hmm? You inherit somebody's wife, very bad. Sexual abuse, abuses like rape. Mm. He, against women, I've never heard of rape against a, a man. 
I don't know whether it is there. Hmm? I don't know whether somebody has ever heard of it, but it is very common on the side of ladies. Hmm? I, I'm wondering why is it that men are not being hmm, subjected to that bad thing. But ladies, hmm, men, please. Hmm, that is inequality. Women are still denied the chance of inheriting property. He, I'm telling you, hmm, even right now, some of you, your parents have already made their wills. Hmm? He, and uh, your parents will say, uh, my son, his son, his son is going to inherit me, not my daughter. Mm. <laughs> Inheritance still, even nowadays, it is still on the side of the boys, mm? which is inequality. We are created all in God's image. Why is it that all the good things, they go on to, mm? on to the, the boys' side or the male sex? Mm? We are all equal. We are all equal. There are some professions which are seen to be more fitting and specific to particular sex. For example, being a secretary, uh, I've never seen a secretary who is a man. Hmm? I've never, secretary, a man, you're a secretary. Hmm. I've never seen it. Hmm? So we are seeing inequality. There are some jobs that secretary, even if they're advertising, we are looking for secretary. You must be mm, at the age of whatever a woman well behaved. They will never advertise a job of a secretary and they're looking for a man. And if you go there, they will tell you are in a wrong place. Younger boy, go back. You go back. Mm? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> so we are seeing that in some religions, sex differences still exist. And uh, we are seeing that men and women pray separated. You know that religion. He, he, when it comes to the Islamic faith, they separate ladies. They are not supposed to be. They don't fix. It. They don't. Uh, they don't. Uh, 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 pray together. Hmm? They put a curtain. Ladies, the other side. Men, this side. That is inequality. Mm -hmm. Hey. And in the Catholic Church, only men are ordained as priests. Can you imagine? We are all created in God's image. Mm -hmm. The government is putting a lot of emphasis on the girl child. Yes, see, a lot of emphasis. Girl child, girl child, girl child, girl child. What about boy child? Mm -hmm. What about boy child, boy child? Mm -hmm. For example, girls are awarded 1.5 points hmm, when joining universities. Hey, you girls, when you're joining universities, they add you more points. Hmm? They add you more points, 1.5. But boys, no way. <laughs> Who is going to add you points? Hmm? Who? So that is inequality. Some parents still force their daughters into marriages. Some, some, some. Hmm? This is done with the selfish aim, hmm? most especially those parents who like to get money. Hmm? Your dad will look at you, hmm? my daughter, you have done up. Hmm? You have done up. And when I look at you, I'm seeing some 20 cows in you. Let me find somebody to take you. There are some parents who are like that, which is not good. Uh, Men are still dominant in politics. When you talk about politics today, politics today, men are dominant. Mm? Men are dominant in politics. They dominate. He, they dominate politics. Mm? Yes. Continue the existence of bride price. Why is it that they, mm? that business of, mm? When if, if I want to take a woman, I go to her parents, I buy her. It's like as if ladies are a property. That's why even this man, Fiki Famaika, there is a certain lady who sued him with his song. My woman is my property. Eh, my property. You know that song, I know. You know that song, my property. How can somebody be a property? How? How? That is inequality. 
Because a property, for instance, your pain is a property. But how can somebody be a property? My human is my property. Inequality. Women are still divorced by their husbands. Today, women are still being divorced. Some men still claim the ownership of children today. Hmm? Some places, cultural activists still favor men. Hmm? They favor men. The women are expected to be submissive to men. Hmm? Now, since time is not on our side, that is our assignment. Eh? That is our assignment for today. Why is it difficult to promote equality of all persons today? Why? Why is it difficult? You find the notes in the Google Classroom. Go to Senior 3 topic, Christian Religious Education. You, you're going to find the other notes and even the assignment. Whenever I give out assignment, some people you do not turn up. So install the Google app on your phone the Google Classroom app on your phone, then you do the assignment. I request somebody to give us an, a closing prayer. We close this lesson. Mulunji, you're giving us a closing prayer? Somebody to give us a closing prayer? Yes, fancy. Thank you, teacher. Um, May we humble ourselves and we pray. Father, King of glory in heaven, we want to thank you for this great lesson that we have had. For wherever that you are going to, and may you your Holy Spirit come and lead us to whatever we are going to do for the rest of the day. Bless our teacher for your taught us on every lesson that may you send your Holy Spirit to come and guide us in whatever that you have understood. As we have prayed all this in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. This lesson was made possible uh, with the funding from Edify Uganda, coordinated by Christian Schools Owners Association and implemented by ICT Teachers Association of Uganda. I wish you a nice day. Bye-bye.